And something funny happened on the way to the forum. The civic forum, that is. It hasn't met in years. Now the DUP want it scrapped, while others want it brought back. Titter ye not. As they debate its future, we hear both sides today. With me, as ever, the emperor of political analysts, uh, Mark Devonport, our political editor. Mark, uh, the civic forum... Uh, it's coming back. I didn't realise uh, there was any prospect of it. It hasn't met since 2002. Well, it's been under review, it seems, for, a, for an age. Um, it only met about a, a dozen times. Uh, now, the DUP have uh, made it pretty clear behind the scenes for some time they want to kill this off. They're making it clear now in the Assembly chamber that they don't think that this unelected body has any role to play. Instead, they're talking about the executive maybe bringing in online interactive means of uh, communicating with the public. Obviously, if you go on, say, to the Downing Street website, there, uh, there's a place there where you can petition the Prime Minister about things. For instance, there's an active petition up there right now about the Presbyterian Mutual Society's uh, troubles. Uh, whereas we haven't really sort of got all of that in relation to our assembly or executive websites at the moment. Uh, but, you know, the Civic Forum is being defended today uh, by the SDLP, uh, but certainly the DUP see it as, I think Stephen Moutre used a phrase in, in the debate a little while ago, as a, a bunch of pro-Good Friday Agreement nodding dogs. So that's where, where the argument stands. OK, so they're unlikely to be uh, too pro. It's reinstatement. 